Hi, in this lecture I am going to talk about linear spline interpolation. First, let me define the spline interpolation. Let me write spline, spline interpolation. In the spline interpolation, in the spline interpolation, we divide divide the interval the interval sorry for that let me use the answer ok we divide the interval into a collection into a collection collection of sub and terva focus we divide the interval into a collection of sub and terva and we construct construct a different approximating a different approximating polynomial polynomial on each subinterval on each subinterval okay focus in this statement in the spline interpolation we divide the interval into a collection of subintervals and we construct a different approximated polynomial in each subinterval this is uh, the spline interpolation is known it is also known known sorry known as the piecewise piece wise polynomial approximation approximation let me give you example to show you that uh, because it's known as a piecewise polynomial approximation Okay, example, simple example. For example, if you have uh, f of x, uh, x cube plus 2x squared plus 5 and x uh, squared, 2x squared plus 5, for example, and this is from zero less than x less than two and two less than x less than four this is mean sub interval this is a w and you will have following graph which is like uh, this you will have you need to approximate the different sub interval like this Therefore, it's called a piecewise, piece, uh, wise polynomial. Polynomial. This is called. The, this is spline, spline interpolation. Therefore, it is called a piecewise polynomial. Piecewise. This function called piecewise function. This is piecewise function. Piece. Function and this is polynomial. Polynomial. Therefore, it's called this is spline interpolation because as a result of the spline interpolation, you will have a piecewise function plus polynomials. This is the result of the uh, spline interpolation. Therefore, it's called piecewise polynomial. Polynomial. 
approximation. Let me now give you a real example about linear linear interpolation, linear, linear spline interpolation, which is our topic today. Case one. Let's let me call it case one. The connection the connection between two points between two points is a straight line which is a linear function linear function therefore it's called it's called linear spline interpolation linear spline interpolation or and it's also known is also known uh, sorry let me use the eraser also known as the first or the splines as the first first or the splines means linear linear uh, spline interpolation first or spline let me now give you an example about that example let me use another color Okay. Example one. Example one. Okay. According. According. To the. Following. According to the following. Given. Table, table of data fit this data, this data with linear spline, with linear spline interpolation. which is first order interpolation so the first order spline interpolation first order spline first order splines uh, interpolation you can continue now this the data now this the data let me write the data. This is x. This is f of x. Uh, as we did in week three. Uh, this is the data, which is the first data is two and three point five, and the second one uh, three point five and one, and then uh, six. And two and ten and f of ten which is zero point five. Now according to the linear interpolation, linear spline interpolation, the connection between the two points is a straight line. Is a straight line, linear function. This is called linear spline interpolation. Now let me first of all draw uh, the graph. Okay, let me solution, right? Solution, and this is divide the question. Okay, let me use another color like this one. This is good, yeah. Yes, we draw the graph. 
this is the graph okay this is x axis this is y axis now we have two three this is the x axis three therefore we can call it one two three four five six six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then says one we have till the three point five one two three four five okay now let me use another color now this is good yeah now we have the first point at uh, x equal to the 2 x at x equal to 2 f of uh, 2 3.5 x equal to 2 3.5 now we have we have 2 and 3.5 2 and 3.5 the second point 3.5 and 1 3.5 3.5 and 1 3.5 and 1 ok now we can connect the two points like this now the second, the third point, which is six and two, six and two, this is two. Six and two. Okay. And we connect the two points like this, yeah. And the fourth one, which is ten and point five, ten and point five. This is ten and point five. Five. Now we can connect it uh, 10 and to uh, 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Like this. Yeah. Now let me write f of 0, f of, uh, f 0, f 1, and f 2. Let me use another color, which is uh, okay. This one. Yeah. This is called. This is the first line straight line let me call it uh, f of zero equal this is the standard form of the uh, linear equation a zero x plus b zero standard form standard form linear equation standard form of linear equation yeah f of zero call the first line we call it f of zero equal to a zero x plus a b zero now we have the second f1 equal to a1x plus b1 and the third uh, straight line which is f3 well the a3 you can call it any uh, you can call it the f1 g1 anything uh, f3 equal to a3x plus b3 now we need to find a0 and b0 and a1 b1 a3 b3 you can find you can't find it uh, manually by equating uh, each point and uh, solve the system of linear equation but using maple 11 it will make you it will make this question very easy now we need to find uh, to solve this system of linear equation to find a0 b0 and a1 and b1 a3 b3 to solve this equation and fit the, the, this data with the linear spline interpolation therefore let me now open the classic worksheet in Mabel 11 to solve this equation numerically using Mabel software Uh, uh, so I 
different listening. Uh, we, we need after the question. question. Approximate F4. This is point F4. The F4. We don't have F4, therefore the F4 will be between 3.5 and 6. Yeah. We need to approximate 4 after solving the system uh, of linear equation, but using neighbor level now. Then we need to find F4 to approximate F4. Yeah. Approximate solution. Now let me return to the Mabel worksheet. This oh sorry. Yeah, this is now let me write the title Linear Spline Inter sorry, the bad inter interpolation. Let me zoom in. Yeah. Now, we click on this uh, one. Yeah. To write the first code. We have f of 0. Therefore, we write f of 0 like this x. Then we write a0 x. a0 multiply. If you write a0x, it will be an error. Therefore, we use a star as a multiplication. Uh, A0x plus plus B0 and equal sorry B0 and equal then let me copy it copy it and paste and change F1 uh, A1 B1 and click enter don't forget the semicolon and press the same okay F2 